I have got a great seasoning mix for y'all for the last day of the collaboration, guys. And this is a really good seasoning mix, and y'all going to love it. And if you're a foodie like me, it's going to be, it makes a really pretty seasoning mix, too, to put in your jar. And if you like to give gifts of your homemade seasonings, this is going to be one of them because it's really pretty when you get it made up. Back in the day is a infused coarse sea salt. And uh, the sea salt, it just, it gives poultry, pork, um, fish, especially fish, even your vegetables like your butternut squash and your sweet potatoes. It gives it such a wonderful flavor. And it's infused with rosemary, thyme, and uh, we've got orange zest. And we're even going to put a little bit of the fresh orange juice. So let's get started and y'all going to see how I do this. And I've got two cups of coarse sea salt here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take you're going to take two the juice off two oranges. And that's going to vary from the size of your oranges. So I got about a third of a cup out of my oranges. You may get more and you may get less. I don't think it's really that big a deal. But just the juice off two oranges. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour it in the sea salt. I don't think I'm crazy yet. And you just want to stir that up good. And you can do this with lemon and lime too. But the orange, uh, it just gives chicken such a good fresh flavor. Okay, I've got the zest of uh, six oranges. So you're going to want at least six oranges. And uh, I didn't measure it. I just took the zest off six oranges. So your oranges may be bigger than mine, may be smaller than mine. So just whatever you get, that's just fine. So that's the zest off of six oranges. Now, <clears throat> the recipe calls for navel oranges. Now, I can tell you that my local grocery store, the navel oranges just have not been very good. Well, I've seen these oranges, and I'm probably saying this wrong, and y'all may see them at Walmart, but they're called Cara Cara oranges. It's C-A-R-A-C-A-R-A. -A -A -A. And they have been really good oranges, so that's what I'm using. You just want a really good orange because, you know, it's going to make a really good infused sea salt. Now you can use uh, Himalayan salt, but you, you want it to be coarse. You don't want it to be the, the fine salt. Let's see, we got Himalayan, Celtic sea salt, you've got an uh, English coarse sea salt, and you've got a Mediterranean sea salt. So just any that you have or can get a hold of, that, or that you like best. Okay, you see how pretty that is already? And I can't, oh, it smells so good. Okay, right here, I've got a tablespoon of thyme. Now, this is where, um, this time of year, I don't have fresh thyme out in the garden. And what I find in the store just ain't, don't look very good. And I don't know if it's got chemicals on it or not. So, but this is organic um, dried thyme from the garden. So I'm going to be using my dried herbs this time of year. If it was during the summer when all my herbs are up and doing good, we'd be using the fresh herbs. So I've got a tablespoon of thyme, and it's going right in there. And this is dried rosemary. And there's three tablespoons of rosemary. So you can imagine how good this is going to be on chicken and fish with all that rosemary and all the citrus and, and the thyme. And uh, that's all there is to it. Now, you're, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, now that's awful wet. How are you going to jar that up? 
What you're going to do once you get this mixed up good and get all your herbs mixed up good, we're going to spread it out on this cookie sheet. I've got my oven heated to 220, 220 degrees. I'm going to spread this infused sea salt out on my sheet pan here. And I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes. And every once in a while, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to stir it around. And in 30 minutes, I'm going to check it. And if my sea salt is good and dry, then it's ready to take out. If it still feels just a little bit moist, you can leave it in there just a little bit longer. But you just want to keep checking it to see if it's dry yet. So we're just going to put it out here on this dry sheet pan. Oh, it just smells wonderful. I just This is the best smell, I tell you what. And I want to tell you something else about this, too. Not only do you just use it for cooking, you can put this in a facial scrub. You can use you a little bit of olive oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and put you some of this infused uh, sea salt in it and make you a, a scrub for your face. You can also put in your bathtub, you could put a half a cup of this into your bath water with a little bit of Epsom salt and maybe just a little bit of baking soda. And you talk about a wonderful bath. It'd be just wonderful. So there's different ways you can use this infused salt. And I just think it's wonderful. And I don't know if anybody else is having trouble with flies this year, but they are, they are just, they're driving me nuts. They're, they're going to be really bad, y'all. And the mosquitoes are too. They're already starting in. They're just, it didn't get cold enough this year, I guess. We got, we had no snow, hardly any cold weather. Okay, I feel like I've got that spread out pretty good. So I'm going to put this in a 220 degree oven for 30 minutes. And uh, like I said, I'll be checking it off and on, stirring it a little bit so it'll keep drying as best as it can. And when we get back, it should be dry and we'll put it in our container. Okay, we got our uh, infused salt. We got it out of the oven. And it took a good 30 minutes for it to dry really good. And I went in there and I stirred it and spread it around about three times. And in fact, it was probably in there more 35 minutes because I wanted to make sure it got good and dry. But if y'all can see how pretty this turned out. And it smells so good. But it's just, it makes such a pretty seasoning too. And I don't know how good y'all can see it, but when we get it in the jar, it uh, it's really going to be pretty. Now this, <clears throat> we talked about what this seasoning would be good for. And it, it's just so good for all kinds of really different meats. Poultry, pork, fish, and even shrimp. And, uh, you know, me and Mr. Brown have been on a low-carb diet, but <clears throat> I think we're going to kind of switch over kindly slowly into a mediterranean diet which will let us eat more a little more rice and pasta but and i think this season will be really good on any kind of mediterranean dish so in any kind of potatoes like sweet potatoes or butternut squash it's just really going to be good but i want to show y'all i got this little jar right here just any kind of little jar and if you're wanting to give this away as a gift or something, that, that would really be good. But I'm going to store mine in here. And if I have enough left, I'm going to put some in here to give as a gift. And it's just one of them little bitty four ounce uh, little miniature mason jars. I'm going to try to carefully... I don't know how carefully I can do this. Mr. Brown, you think I can get this in here without making a mess? 
Absolutely not. <laughs> Me neither. But we're going to try. Can you smell? Can you smell this? Uh, it smells wonderful. It does. And you know what? It's making quite a bit. I think you're going to have more than enough for your little jar. And you know what? I told them that you can even take this mixture and make uh, a facial scrub with it. You can put it in olive oil or coconut oil or something like that and make your facial scrub. And you can even put it in your bath water with a little bit of Epsom salt and stuff. But you can eat it and bathe with it. Yes. It's a very functional... And scrub your face with it. <laughs> it's a very functional, beautiful seasoning. I ain't never. Well, you have now. But look how pretty it is in that jar. Oh, it's pretty. It is. Makes so, me want to just take a spoon of it and eat it. I, I think bet. it'd be really salty. I agree. But I'm going to finish putting these in some jars because I'm going to give them away as gifts. But you could double, triple this recipe and it does make quite a bit. And uh, I can just imagine this on a roasted chicken. Be I've been so craving good. fish lately. I'm ready for fish. Well, huh? we'll put it on some fish too. I want some walleye. Well, you're going to have to go catch some. I know. And the, all we're getting is rain, and we got another week of rain, and the rivers are muddy, and... I know. But anyways, so this is my versatile infused sea salt with orange zest, orange juice, rosemary and thyme. I hope y'all like this recipe. I've really enjoyed doing it. And it, it just, it's really good. Um, I've had a good time doing this collaboration with all these other women, too. So, make sure y'all go over and see Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. See Miss Katie from Heritage Ways. And Miss Vicki from Vicki's Country Home. And Tammy from Little Jordan Farm. Because they're going to have some really good uh, dry mixes and seasoning mixes for you. So make sure you go over there and see them. But anyways, even though this collaboration's over, I'll still be bringing y'all some different dry mixes and season mixes off and on. So y'all always look for those. And anyways, everybody take care. Be careful.